An elementary school accused of forcing a third grader to remove her mask because it said Jesus loves me on the front, sparking a free speech lawsuit against that Mississippi school district. The superintendent arguing, quote, masks cannot display political, religious, any inappropriate symbols, gestures or statements that may be offensive, disruptive or deemed distractive to the school environment. Here with an update, nine year old student Lydia Booth, along with her parents, Matthew and Jennifer and their attorney, Tyson Langhofer. Uh, welcome all of you to the show. So I'll begin with you, Jennifer. Um, did you have any inkling that sending your daughter to school with this mask would be a problem in terms of what the handbook disclosed or any idea that you would be doing something wrong? Never in a million neat years should we think that we'd be dealing with this issue. So now what strikes me about this, Matthew, is that it seems to me that other students at the school have worn masks that have political representations on them. Do you know if those students have been scolded uh, or told to remove their masks? Uh, we got a 16-year-old son that goes to high school, and he said that he sees kids walking around all the time with them and nothing's been said or anything. Until okay, so Tyson, this, th this seems, yeah, until this, okay. And you see the mask right there displayed on the screen for the audience to see. So Tyson, what concerns me about this case is that it seems to me that in schools oftentimes, and this school may be, um, may be a case similar, is that there's an arbitrary application of rules like this, right? That for some students, they are punished and others, they are not. What is the case that you will be bringing forward in, in terms of free speech um, and, and how this has all been handled? Well, it's really a simple one. I mean, students have a right to express their faith at school. Uh, that's guaranteed by the First Amendment. And you're right, the arbitrary application is barred by the First Amendment. That's exactly what government officials don't have the right to do. But, you know, this really isn't about a mask. It's about a public school telling a little girl that she can't wear a mask with a message that's really important to her. So, Lydia, I want to ask you about that, because how did it make you feel when you were told you couldn't wear your mask? It made me sad and confused. Sad and confused. Um, and, and how did that happen? Did the principal tell you directly? Um, the assistant. The, the, uh, All right, uh, thank you. Un figure. Unfortunately, we're, we're going to have to... Yeah, unfortunately, we're going to have to wrap. We're out of time. But I appreciate you all being here, and we'll continue to follow this story. We have more Fox & Friends coming up on the other side.